round 4 of the Evizone tournament, I'm up against XVII, or 17, I believe. And this time it's a best of 5, so the first person to win 3 games wins. And I'm gonna ban the Trintra, for obvious reasons, mainly because I don't have him. Guardian, because he's a beast at rank 4, he nukes down way too much thing. Way too much, and then Ghost, because... Well, she's a rank 4. I didn't really see any others that would require bans. Um, I'm gonna take... Stealthy and Mordo, I think. I need Mordo anyways for... Well... Attack and defense. Stealth is a great nuke champion and also works great for Penny if he goes for it. Okay. Well, Omega Sentinel works for all three of those, but I also do need something for defense. So I'm gonna take Warlock. The others here wouldn't really be great for defense. Well, okay, that's not great. Um, I could take Sasquatch, but that Human Torch is just gonna mess him up. No, I can't do that. Human Torch and Killmonger. I'm gonna split his CTR by taking Killmonger, so he has to choose either Warlock or Killmonger to use him on. I can just throw one of the rounds because I'm not beating him on speed. <coughs> Yeah, my human thought isn't gonna get any use here. He has no mystics or energy damage champions. Uh, I could take Archangel, but I think Juggernaut is a better nuke option in this case. Yeah, he can do more. And potentially faster, without relying on RNG. That's the main reason why I don't like Archangel. Okay, well I'm gonna put Warlock on... Warlock or Killmonger. I'm gonna go, go Warlock on defense. Let's see, if he uses CGR I'm just gonna throw this match with Human Torch because he's useless otherwise. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna beat him on speed here. I'm gonna throw. Now he doesn't really have anyone for Killmonger. Well, he has Kitty, but I don't think he's running Recoil Masteries and without them it's a pretty slow fight. So this should be fine. <laughs> I'm not even sure I'm not even sure if I can finish this fight on time. Because I can't lower his reach and rate him. Just not dropping fast enough. And that region is gonna go insane if I trigger multiple of them. Come on. At this point I just want to finish the fight. Come on. I gotta go for a special 3 to finish it. I can't deal with that region. Yeah, 3 stacks. Not gonna happen. <coughs> At least they should finish him off 
so at least I don't time out. Yeah. I think it's probably already done unless he messed up bad. <laughs> Full HP. Okay. Well. I have a champion for all of his defenders. I can nuke down most of them with Juggernaut and then I have Omega Sentinel for the others. So here I'm gonna put Killmonger on defense because now he doesn't have CGR. His best option is Kitty Pride. Could also use Domino, but yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use Mordo here. Otherwise I don't have a defender for round 3. I mean, this works. Mordo is immune to passive ability accuracy reduction, so the only way to get crit fail against Domino is to use your special one and then fail the stun, because it doesn't have a 100% chance to trigger. So as long as I don't mess this up, I should beat him on speed. Mr. Parry. Okay. That disorient really isn't helping. I couldn't take that special. Too much HP. Crap. I mean, yeah, if I used Omega Sentinel here, I would only have two Mystics and Stealth Spidey, and he has Human Torch. Stealth Spidey just gets destroyed by Mole Man and Nick Fury, so. Uh, uh, And Omega Sentinel kinda get, gets destroyed by Human Torch as well. Her health pool is so small. Okay, at least I got this round. So I'm gonna have to put Omega Sentinel on, Omega Sentinel on defense. And then nuke down whatever he places with Juggernaut. I'm assuming he's gonna use, use Nick Fury on defense. Uh... I have taken Nick Fury's pretty fast before, but it is reliant on RNG as well as the AI. And Human Torch is Human Torch. It's just gonna melt down most opponents. I'm really just hoping for the auto block, <coughs> auto block to mess him up. Come on, check it out. Crap, why did I do that? Uh, now I won't have the theory for the special too. Here's the special, I really can't wait. No crits, okay. Well, he's probably already done. Way too slow, come on. Okay, thank God. 
He must have gotten caught by the auto blocker or something. That's probably the worst Nick Fury solo I have had with Juggernaut. That was way too slow. I should not have won that round. Okay, round two. Yeah, I definitely should not have won the previous one. I got very lucky. So, I'm just... Yeah, I mean, Rintran Guardian has to go, but is there anything else? Longshot is annoying, but I don't think I need to ban him. I'm just gonna go with Ghost again. Okay, well, Hulkling is an easy choice here. Oh, Tigra is open! Oh, hell yeah! I never get to use her. Okay, I'm going to, uh, I can't speak. I'm gonna get Tigra and Scorpion. I would have taken Omega Sentinel, but Tigra and Omega... Tigra and Human Torch both melt her. I need something for defense. Hulkling isn't gonna work now. Toad? He doesn't have anyone for him. And I guess... Omega Sentinel. He did mess it up last time, so I'm, I'm assuming he doesn't really know how to fight him. Or her, I mean. And if I remember correctly, he also had a domino in there. So, that's always nice. Okay, I'm gonna take Hercules to nuke down basically anyone here, and... I... Period. No. Yes. And he has Tigra. Should I? Uh, no. Nah. Black Cat. Okay. My Black Cat is rank 4, so she does have some HP, and she's not the easiest jump to Tigra if you haven't tr practiced it before. That CGR is annoying. Luckily it's on Awakened, so Hercules still works as a defender for that. Assuming I can bait out the Tigra. But here to start with, I'm gonna put Toad on defense. Yeah, he's gonna use Warlock here, and I should be able to take down any of his defenders faster. I'm gonna use Tigra for most of these, and for Mojo... I'm gonna use my Scorpion. Yeah, this should be faster. It is only a rank 3 Scorpion, but... Still. Yeah, he's gonna use Warlock. He could've used CTR as well, but... Yeah, Warlock is the obvious choice here. He's not gonna work for defense, because I have Hercules and Hulkling. That is a rank 4 Mojo. That's a lot of health. This is... I mean, I should be faster. I just hope I get lucky with the prompts. That's an upgrade. Okay, it's special to you. Not really what I wanted to bait out. Can't fix because of the death field or anti life field, whatever it's called. Come on, I hope this burst is enough. Okay, that should be fast enough. Yeah, he's still in there. May have even gotten, gotten caught by the passive stun. Oh! Okay, that was a lot closer than I thought it would be. Um, I still got the round though, but I do need to keep that in mind. Okay, since his CGR is unawakened, it's not gonna work well for Hulkling. So, what I'm thinking here is that I put Hercules on defense to try to bait out the Tigra. 
here's someone else. I can nuke down Mole Man with Hulkling. He may not he may not look like it, but he is a rank four Hulkling. He's just low seek, and I keep it that way just to hide it. Okay. So I should be able to do this with Hulkling very fast. I just need to not parry him so he doesn't gain any monster mass. Then hit into his block to get the unblockable ready. Get to my special to hit block once more and then throw it. That is the plan. Stop dashing at me. Probably should not have parried, but I can still throw the special to into the block. That works as well. Landed, but that's great. Come on. This special one. Okay, well. Okay, that works. Yeah, he's not gonna beat that. Nice. I mean, he probably he probably did the right thing by using someone else than Tigra. Because then he wouldn't have had anyone for Hulkling. I guess he could have risked it with a stealthy or something, but I think I would have had the last round. But that worked out well. Oh, he was very fast with that as well. Okay. I probably need to use use my stealthy more, but... Hey, I'll take it. 2-0, one more win for me and I advance to the next round, since this is a best of five. Okay, round 3, I'm up 2-0, so one more win, and I will advance to the next round of the Evisone tournament. I'm gonna stick with the same bands, because if it's not broken, don't fix it. Okay. I always hate when people ban my Massacre, he's so good. I'm gonna take Doom. And Hyperion is probably the best two-way jump here. Doom is great for defense now that he has CGR because of the armor break immunity. Uh, well, that's a great option for Doom. Hmm. I do run unfazed, so I might be able to catch him with that. Tigra is an easy pick here. I mean, if I if I get Tiger on a draft, I I always pick her. There is no ifs or buts. I will pick her no matter what. Now, him and Torch. Nah, I, mm, I'm gonna take Kingpin because I mean CTR doesn't really do that well against him because he shrugs all the armor breaks. And if I take him and Torch, he's just not gonna pick any Mystics or other champions for defense. And yeah, Penny and Juggernaut for a new champion. I can use him for Korg and Nick Fury as well. Even Domino. And again, Human Torch there. He is a great champ, but if the if you have it early and the opponent doesn't have any champion to use it on, it's a wasted slot. He's not gonna do anything on defense either. Um, for Toad, I do have Hyperion. And Penny. I can also use Tigra there. Oh, but he doesn't have anyone for a Toad either. So I'm gonna take him. Uh, well, he has CGR. It works. It's not the best option, but it works. CGR is also his only counter for Penny. And I don't have really anyone good for Korg. He doesn't have power control other than CGR, so I'm gonna, to I'm gonna throw Hyperion on defense. Hopefully it gets him to use his CGR. Yeah. Okay, I can't win this round with the champs I have. Or I probably could win check it out, but I'm throwing with Kimpin. Now that he's used CGR, he doesn't have an option for... Toad... and Penny. So I should be able to do the last two rounds with those two in defense. 
As long as I don't miss up my fights. I really hate fighting Korg. It just takes so long. And one simple mistake. Uh, just like that. A medium intercept and you're gonna take a chunk of damage. But this, at least this one doesn't look like it's max seek. So that's at least helpful. And with Kimpin, I do heal up most of the damage I take if I do make mistakes. Hyperion can also be very annoying in defense, even with CTR. He can mess up the rotation. So, I mean, I could have a chance here, but I highly doubt it. Anyone who's made it up this far in the tournament is a good player, so I can't really expect too many mistakes. But I also have fought this guy many times before, and he is a good player. I don't really remember who has won most of our games, but... Well, we'll see. Yeah, I'm just happy if I get this fight down in time. Come on. Finish with full health. Yeah. Why is my Hyperion never an annoying defender? Looks like he always uses his specials. So. His most annoying defender for me is Domino. But I can Tigra that. So, Penny on defense, I don't really even know who he's gonna use for that. Could do Mole Man, I guess. Now, I'm gonna use Toad for attack here. Crap, I regret my decisions. I'm, I have all Mystics and he has Mr. Negative left. I could have just used Juggernaut or something, even Tigra. Um, uh, I mean, we'll see how this goes. With Toad, I can bypass Nick Fury's second life if I time the poisons right. Because when they get shrugged off by a skill champion, they have a chance to be converted into passive poisons. And since they are poisons, they reduce regen rate. With enough of them, you shut down the regeneration in his second life. So the trick here is to just balance as many of those poisons as you can on him when he drops to his second life without going over to the end. Because then they get removed. Come on. Okay, I got seven, he's dead. Yeah, that was nice. Okay. I really should have saved my toad for defense. Um, I can Tigra all three of these. I think I'm gonna put... Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna have to put Doom on defense. He's gonna use Mr. Fan, uh, Mr. Negative. And then I just need to hope that Unfazed is gonna mess him up. He's gonna take some block damage there with Mr. Negative. With my rank 3, it's usually around 15 to 20% block damage. Because Doom's block penetration is not a joke. So, with that alone, I can offset the damage a Domino on defense would do to me with my Tigra as long as I don't mess the fight up. And we should finish around the same time, unless I get some really, really good RNG. I just need her to not evade. 
And if Unfaced kicks in, then I should be able to win. If it kicks in at a bad time and Doom punishes you, it's a lot of HP gone. So he's gonna put Domino on defense, yep. Negative on attack, I'm gonna use my signature, signature champion. I can't speak English, I guess. But yeah, this one... Domino is always very annoying. It can go very well or very bad. <sighs> At least he didn't go lucky. Oh, okay. Come on. Special too, this is great. I did not mean to do that. I almost just got comboed. Come on. Just drop. One more heavy. Okay, that is great. 15% health loss, 40 seconds. I should have this. There's no way he's gonna finish full HP. Not with negative. Come on. Yes! He must have gotten got by unfaced. Oh, I messed up by using Toad for that nick. It worked out. Great. Oh. XVII. GG's, dude. That was well played. But I do have to say, though. Thank you for not banning Tigra. Honestly, I hate that she always gets banned, but I mean, I get why, but still. So I did end up winning the match 3-0 against XVII, and that means that I will be advancing to the next round of the Evison tournament. So far, I've had a lot of fun with the tournament, and even though I'm recording these videos very late, I do hope that you guys enjoy watching them as well. You probably already know the results of the upcoming matches, but still, I still upload these videos just so you can hear what was going through my head when I was actually doing the fights. And I do apologize for taking this long to get this out. But anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.